Like and subscribe. What are they liking and subscribing to? This podcast. What's the name of this podcast? On two pages of our lives. Okay, and also don't forget, people can send in their questions for wakey wakey eggs and bakey. You heard it. Get your omelet order in so you can be in the mix for wakey wakey eggs Eggs and bakey. Peace out, Cub Scouts. Bye bye. Bye bye. Three, two, one. If polar bears disappeared by Lily Williams, and on the cover. It looks like they are photoshopping the polar bear out. It looks like they're photoshopping it out. Kind of. It looks like it has a dotted line to rub it. Yeah, but it's kind of like photoshopping it out. Let's go in. Whee! Do you know how to use Photoshop? No. When are you going to learn? I don't know. Mommy. When you teach me. Mommy. Mm-hmm. What? What? What do colossal squids do to you? What do colossal squids do to you? Yeah. Pretty much nothing. Mind their business. Pretty much stay away from you. Nothing. Because humans are dangerous. They literally don't do nothing to you because they live like. Humans like to kill things they're scared of. So I'm pretty sure they'll stay away from you. They live like really deep, so so they're probably never. So So they're probably never. Colossal squids can make you suck. What's claws? I mean, colossal squids do have little razors on their tentacles. Yeah, they... But I feel like a human could fit in between them. No. No. If you get bigger and taller, you can not. Okay. Okay, let's get... Let's read the Mommy, book. are you stretchy? Am I stretching? No. Oh. Are you stretchy as us? Are you, the, Mommy? What do you do when you was eleven years old? When I was eleven years old, I didn't live at home, and I was probably doing joys here and going to school and trying to get money to buy books. Because there's always a book fair at school, and I wanted to buy books because I was interested in reading the words on the page and learning about stories, about lives that I never lived, couldn't live, or wanted to live. And you learned. Yes, and, well, somewhat. Because I didn't really learn much in school. I learned more so at home and from reading books on my own. Well, you did not learn a lot. Well, I learned a little bit, like colossal swords and swords and octopus Mm -hmm. and a polar bear and a penguin. What do penguins do? Um, they just walk like. Like that. They waddle. They waddle. Yeah. I guess that's what happens when you have really, really short legs, yeah. if any legs at all. Yeah, they just have slippers. You gotta move your whole body. You gotta have slippers. Mommy, why mm-hmm. is why is the penguins flippers only only parts that can protect itself and slap stuff that are trying to eat? eat. Penguins. He uses beak too, not just the not just the flippers. Can I read the book now? Mm-hmm. This what? is the art. I'll show you how penguins slap. Ow! 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 Oh, you didn't even hit yourself. Oh, the, the, oh. Can I please read the book now? Mm-hmm. It's been four minutes. Yeah. This is the Arctic. It's a, an ecosystem in the far northern region of the globe. Few animals call this land home. The ones that do live, live here are strong, tough, slow, and... Drumroll, please. Sorry. 
sometimes hard to see. Polar bear, there's, there's our belief to descend it from a common brown bear about 400,000 years ago. As brown bears moved farther and farther north, they evolved to fit their new environments. Over time, they became perfectly adapted to the icy tundra, Arctic tundra, using the sea ice and traveling, hunting, denning, denning and reproducing. Even in their white fur has adapted to the snowy treeless landscape. And there's a photo of the brown bear and then like they slowly get get lighter and lighter get fur till they look like polar bears that there are today, that are here today. Although they are apex predators okay. in the frozen north, polar bears are still very vulnerable to threats like pollu pollution and habitat loss. But the biggest threat to polar bears is, and other animals is their ecosystem. Um, in their ecosystem um, is the melting of ice because of climate change. If too much of the sea the ice melted, we the Arctic spaces would be affected as well as if polar bears became extinct. The number of rid ringed seals. This, this polar bears maintain how sorts of foods could instantly rise. However, because of ring, because rings, you know, it's also my life on the sea ice to to mate, to mate, fish, rest, and give birth. They also would struggle to adapt to the changing environment. If too much of the ice melted. Or ocean predators like orcas would be able to catch more seals, which would cause seal pop populations to decline even further. With too few seals as prey, a orcas could move south, disturbing the balance and predator prey relationship to those waters. If changes in the Arctic become irreversible, Oh, even more species of plants and animals would be affected. And, and if too much of the sea ice melted, the Arctic North would grow even warmer. The landscape, the landscape would change personally. Shrubs were once hidden under the snow could be ex would be that were once hidden under snow would be exposed and grow larger. You're crowding out the tundra's usual mosses, fungi, and grasses. Many of these plant species are not that you are not that used to grow in, in this change in landscape scape, heap, and could disappear, causing herbivores like caribou who, to struggle finding enough food. Without enough snow, mm, subbeven. And mammals like lemmings, who make their dens in snow, would lose their homes, exposing them to the harsh weather and predators, and decreasing their populations. Effects like this would it began in the Arctic and spread like a web into different environments. The snow stays cold because of it, because the white heat color reflects the heat of the sun, sending it back into space because bodies of water like the oceans are darker than snow. Snow and ice, they absorb the heat of the sun, which warms the water in the side, in the cycle. Oh, the warm water causes more sea ice to melt. So the sun and the, it's reflect, 
gets reflected off into space, or just hits the water, which absorbs light. Right? No, it goes out in the water and pounds up. What? The cycle continue. The cycle could continue until, until the ice has thawed. Then neighboring eco ecosystems could change, and their animals could disappear. This chain in of event would roll onwards, affecting all the different ecosystems from the redwood forests to the hot deserts to the frozen Arctic until oh, we can no, we are no longer able to stop it. The it's a very bleak book. Continue. The best way for you to help is to learn everything you can about the climate change and how it affects the environments like the Arctic. Taking action will lessen in its devastating effects and maybe we'll find in the answer to saving polar bears. It has been and when we will find the answer to saving polar bears has been right in front of us all along. The end. And that's it for Miss Anna Amelia's research news. Bye bye. <laughs> Subscribe and share to unschooled pages of our lives. Bye bye. <laughs>